YouTube, Green Dog Chef here, and welcome to a brand new career mode. This is amazing. I'm so excited to start a brand new career mode, especially in Italy, a different league, a different type of football, and a brand new team. We are starting it with AC Milan. This was the most called for team last video in the what next video. Uh, we got three comments for AC Milan, two comments for Arsenal, and one comment for Sevilla. So this is the one that we're going to be playing today. Uh, obviously, AC Milan aren't the strongest team right now. They're missing that punch, that bite to be challenging the top of the Calicia A. Um, especially against teams with like Napoli, Inter Milan, Roma, um, Juventus. You know, there's a lot of teams there to compete with. It's a bit like the Premier League in that sense. Uh, we have 83 million as our transfer budget. They're one of the richest teams, if not the richest team, I believe. Yeah, we are the richest team in this league right now. And we are going to need it because our team is very mediocre. Very a lot of 77s, a lot of 70, mid 70 overall players, and we haven't got much depth at all. We are going to be playing a pre-game friendly today. So a couple of things have changed in this career mode from the previous Everton career mode, which was also amazing. And a quick thank you to everybody there that supported me throughout that career mode. Hopefully we'll carry on with this one as well and just get bigger and bigger and bigger and you know. I just want to put out good content for you guys. Anyway, enough on that. I've said that before. AC Milan. Right, we are going to have two changes in this career mode. One, every single video will be edited. So the seasons will be quicker. Uh, it'll be easier to watch for you guys. And it'll just be better in general. Two is we're going to start on legendary difficulty. With Everton, we built up our team at world class to a really good point, And then we changed it to legendary difficulty. With AC Milan, we're going to start from the get-go, legendary difficulty, and it will make it a harder challenge for me, it will make it a harder challenge for the club, especially since our club right now is very much on par with Everton's original club. Actually, Everton had some better players than AC Milan do early on. But anyway, enough talking, let's get into it, and let's just go straight into the first game and transfer window. We will be accepting because I want to try out the team. If anyone hasn't watched my previous um, career mode, this will be perfect. This is testing out some against some top tier clubs. If anyone hasn't watched my previous career mode um, with Everton, how I work is that a player might have a good statistic. A player might have a good age. A player might have everything going for them. For example, Cal Niglia, right? Okay. He's 23. He's 80 overall. He's a very strong winger. Unfortunately, he only has 69 sprint speed. Now, for me, I don't not, I don't like wingers too much. I prefer right mids and left mids. I prefer playing a bit more further back and working our way up. Uh, wingers seem to be way too more active up front and not as much uh, defense, leaving the left backs and right backs exposed. Uh, but without getting into too much tactics of FIFA, um, really, we're going to try this formation from the start, give it the benefit of the doubt. I like to play with the team's team um, and if it doesn't work change it up that's what I did with Everton that's what I did in my World Cups and that's what I'm going to do with AC Milan if it doesn't work we'll change it all up we do have an okay team but as I've said and as you can see a lot of mid 70s here a few 80s uh, our defense and our goalkeeper are the most perfect things that I need I have Benucci an older world-class player um, he's 30 now and he'll be 31 this season but apart from Benucci, the rest of our centre-back and defence don't need changing. Just because they're so young, we don't ever need a new goalkeeper. Um, Rodriguez is a fantastic player that I love to play with. Uh, he used to play for Wolfsburg. He's a really, really talented player. Um, again, young, young. So we have plenty of diversity there, but I want to bring in another centre-back. I want to bring in another centre-defensive midfielder because Biglia and Montolivo are oh, they're getting on now 32 years old and 31 years old biglia and montalivo are so we need a world-class center back that's what that's uh, sorry a world-class center defensive midfielder we want a young prodigy center back for benucci's shoes we want a left winger or a right winger depending suso is quite talented we're gonna give suso a little bit of time i think um i'm thinking of recalling niang from loan as well uh you think he's at toronto now Good player, young player, 77 overall, and I'm thinking I might sell Cal Hanuglio. Uh, sorry, Cal Cal Hanuglu. I I I don't know how to pronounce that name. If anyone knows how, comments down below, please. Um, we have got Barini, but again, 26 years old. He's not really going to advance too much. 
And the team that we're going to be playing with from the start is indeed this team. We're going to be playing with this team that is out right now. We've got the preseason friendlies to determine why we, what we need to change and how we're going to change it. But first of all, let's set up some scouting. These are the instructions that we've set out for the team. This I'm wanting at least one of each of these um, positions to be filled. I've already got an idea for a centre-back in Kimbepe, the PSG centre-back. He's an 80 overall player. He's quite young, um, I think he's 20. And he's got a lot of room to grow, and I think he'd be a fantastic substitute uh, for Benucci next season. Um, winger, I don't really have any in mind. I mean, it's really whoever whoever catches my eye on the scouting table. Defensive midfield as well, class. Fabinho from AC, AC, uh, sorry, AS Monaco would be quite good. Um, but then again, very, very expensive. And central mid promising just to get a bit more depth in them roles would be fantastic. Our scouts are coming out now and I've set out all of the scouts, which is fantastic. Let's have a look what the board actually wants us to do before we start with any of this. Very Champions League based. Wow. Uh, so within two seasons, guys, we need to get um, to the semi-final of the Champions League, which is the Champions Cup in this game. Um, qualify to the Champions Cup this season and finish in a Champions Cup place this season. So really, it's all just everything to do with the Champions League. Just do it. Uh, no financial objectives. Brand exposure is our big one. That, that'll be no issue. You sign, you sign players, you get earnings from shirt sales. It's that simple. And we're going to be signing a shit ton of players. Because as I've said and as you guys have seen, our team's very mediocre right now. Um, and we don't really want to keep it that way. We want to, we want to make them all low to high 90s uh, sorry low to high 80s and at the minute we're just all 70s and a few 80s so the defense can stay untouched apart from one signing uh center defensive midfield and needs a replacement because they're both cracking on getting into their 30s now uh, and a winger needs to be bought ideally on the left uh, i am going to recall somebody from loan i'm actually going to recall two people from loan and then people are going to be backer uh, where are you? Backer is going to be recalled from loan because it's only 1.3 million. And Niang will be recalled from loan. Yeah, he was at Toronto. Um, sorry, Torino. Toronto is a state in America, isn't it? Um, anyway, we are going to recall them two players simply because they're good subs. They're good They're good young players. Well, Backer isn't. Backer's old now. Backer's 30, I think. But... There he is, backer. Niang is a very talented young player on the left, and he's going to be our substitute striker for this series. Uh, our substitute striker slash substitute left winger. It all depends how they play, as I've said before. Anyway, I think we've done messing about now. I think we're done taking the piss, and uh, um, I I recommend we get into our first game against Porto and see what happens, guys. We are going to start off with the very basic first team here. Um, warning now, I will pronounce quite a few names wrong until I get familiar with the team and the names. If I do pronounce any wrong repeatedly a lot, um, and it's annoying a lot of people, just comment down below how to pronounce it. Like, type it out how to pronounce it. And um, I'll do that from then on. But it's a whole new league. It's a whole new world of football. So there's going to be a lot to go on. Obviously, guys, legendary minutes. Wait, no. Legendary difficulty, four minutes. Let's get into the game. Well, welcome to the start of Our the very European first AC Milan first game. game. Let's get straight into it and not mess around. Yeah, Remember, guys, all it's these it's videos from now on will be edited, these days and which is good for you guys. Let's go. This is the Milan. Pereira, a, fan, a really good uh, really right back. To see. These you get signed a lot for Man U at FIFA. Oh, oh, already a goal for Porto. Absolute danger here with the crosses. Not quick at all. Poor defending, if anything. Look at that. Unbelievable. Does AC Milan need that much of a change that we can't actually be formidable opponents against Porto. Look how slow we are. We feel very, very slow. Play very well. 
On the attack here. And he could get away here. Pierre on goal! Misses it, but oh my god, Porto are all over us. Porto are making this a terribly hard game. Come on. Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely all over us. Look how weak we are right now. Kissy now on the ball. It's a good ball in. Can't win the header again. <clears throat> and that is half time. Dear me. Right, so 1 0 Porto half time. The team feels very slow. That's what I've noticed right now. Which should change when we get our new signings in. When we get our new signings and we are. We've got more pace on them on them wings. Uh, it should do us a lot. But look at that. Our stamina is very low. We've hardly been going for the ball. And that's that's poor. That's not good enough. They've also been very attacking. Uh, and we've not been good enough defensively. A good cross in. Good header. Oh! What an effort. The first and best effort so far. And nothing comes from it. Oh dear, what an effort ahead. Tempt. He's through. Oh, a good effort once again, but doesn't go through. Kiese playing all right. 20 years old or 21 years old, 77 overall. A good player. <coughs> Olivia Torres has now come onto the pitch. Young, promising striker for Porto. Corona. Piera again running up. He's who got the previous. Look at that. Giving him the ball. I think that was Benucci as well. It was. Benucci's letting get through. Can Yang get onto that ball? He can indeed. Come on. He does. He gets onto it. Does one. Niang. Niang. Oh. The keeper even do, but it doesn't come through anything. We are going to try out Mori for Kiesi now. A good ball in, but no header. Come on. Give me an opening. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Bonaventura has a shot, but he doesn't go through. Silva is going to be taken off for Kalinic. Kalinic. Obviously, a lot of a bigger, a bigger man up front gets the header. Oh, just over the bar. It is all AC Milan now after the second half. It is so unfortunate we haven't got a goal yet. Come on, let's push. This is the last chance we get. Bonaventura. It's one last attack. Can they get that late equaliser? They've been pushing for it. Nyang gets through. Passes the ball in. A terrible cross. And it looks like we're actually going to lose our first game. <coughs> Unbelievable. Lost our first game with AC Milan to Porto as well. Everton beat Arsenal 4 0. Go on, boys. Leverkusen beat Liverpool 3 0. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to get scouting some players there and changing this club already because I'm not happy with it. Uh, also, Kimbepe needs to be bought. Well, or scouted at least. Where are you, Kimbepe? Centre back, Kimbepe. There he is. Right at the bottom, of course. Makes my job just the easiest. Who else have we found? Right, okay, world class wingers. No one yet. I don't want any of these players. Uh, they're very good players. I, I know that, but. Bailey won't sign for us because he's just joined by Leverkusen. Uh, Marcus Rashford, I don't ever see playing in Italy. Shakiri, I don't really like him. And <laughs> Mane is uh, very expensive. But then again, you know, we might see Judd Henderson's not coming to this club. And these are all of our younglings that we found. 
very, very young indeed. Wow, a, really a bit an Albion player? Okay, let's let's just have a quick look at some of these players, possibly. But we need our scouts to do a little bit better, to be honest. Okay, we're going to change up the squad as well. This is the squad we're going to be starting with today. We've got Niang on the left and Suso on the right with Baka up front making his first appearance since the low one. Kiesi, Bonavatora and Biglia are our centre midfield with Musaccio, uh, I think it is, and Benucci as our centre backs. Calabria and Abate is our left and right back with Donnarumma in net. Let's go. Welcome again to the European We're away today against Villarreal. Barker, Barker actually just got recalled from loan from Villarreal. So this will be interesting to see what he can do against his former club. Come on, this is what I want, more pace. Yes, more pace, a, a quicker game. Oh, there we are! There we are! Is that... It's young goal! Oh my goodness, onside Niang! <coughs> really, really well played. Legendary difficulty, as you guys saw. What a cross! And a fantastic finish by Niang! I knew it would be a good choice for calling from though. He's a little superstar. Dosari gets past the Barte. Oh, a great defending. Great defending indeed. Oh, a good shot. He does go wide. Two minutes left. One minute left now on the clock before half time, everybody. And we've been playing fantastically, to be honest. The pace has seemed a lot better, a lot higher. And I like that. I do. Niang now. A little overrun. I like that. It's just better football. It is just better football. Niang again has a shot. Does go out just before half time. That is the whistle. Let's not really mess about, guys, and just get straight into that second half. Here we are in the second, the second half. half of this second match in the group stage. Yeah, can Susu get onto that? He can. Susu steals the ball. Continue in the second half. Gets round one. He's got plenty of space. Does well with the ball roll. Susu. Susu makes it two against Villarreal straight away from kickoff. And a fantastic effort it is. There we go. Zero to Villarreal are losing to Milan. And both of our wingers have scored, but not the former Villarreal striker, Barker. Sorry, Backer. Let's kick off. Now, and Conti is absolutely trying his hardest to sprint down that wing. We do see Suso, but here he is, Backer! Oh, good save. He probably could have caught that. A bit over dramatic for my liking. Rodriguez is going to come back on now and secure that back four. A good ball in. And a nice easy catch for Fernandez. Only a few more minutes now left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like we are going to win this game. Suso, he's got so much. Come on, he's got a little bit of pace here. Room for the cross. Please it in. Barker. Barker. Really? Wow! Terrible, terrible play. Break quickly when they get possession. Maybe he just doesn't want to score against his old team. Maybe that's what it is. A poor, poor shot to end the game on there from Villarreal. But we do win our second game after losing our first one to Porto 1-0. We come back with a 2-0 victory. I think Niang needs to be starting. And I'm actually going to put up a few plays for sale now. So, let's get into that. The only two players that I've actually put up for sale is Backer. Simply because he's worth 90 million. And he's an 80 overall. He's not going to increase overall. He's only going to drop now. And we don't want his value to drop as well. And Antonelli, just because we've got quite a bit of diversity at left back and right back. We don't need someone that's only got a year left on their contract. 30 year old and 76 overall. Um, but we are going to have a little look into some more possibilities now. For signings. What have we got? Just been signed. Don't want any of these. Just been signed. Won't move again by both of them teams. Henderson's still the only set of defensive midfielder world class. 
I'm a bit unsure right now. Anyway, I do believe this is our final... Um, yes, you are going to play Nyang. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Look at the team sheet, my dude. Um, oh, you're not actually on the team sheet. There we go, that's better. Right, so this is what we're going to be doing today, guys. I think this is the last game. Uh, it is the last game of this season, yeah, and it is the last game of the group stages here. Last game of this episode, sorry, not this season. Legendary difficulty, four minutes, and this is the team that we're playing today. Pretty much the same as last time, apart from Montalivo will be replacing Biglia um, fitness reasons and just because I want to give him a go. The last game, and this one does well, decide if we go through here. Uh, are we at Anfield? Did I see the... This yeah, that's the Liverpool side. For some reason, we're at Anfield. Um, which is a bit odd. But fair enough. Anyway, let's kick off. Gabriel, we put a ball into the back. Oh, and Yang wins it. Oh, goes off the post. And Yang is a very, very dangerous back post header. That's what I found, and that's what I like as well. I like to see that. Just about to be half time. Nil nil. Not really much to share apart from that shot from Silver. Can we do anything here? Anything at all? Here's Puts a ball in. Away, that will be half time after this corner. Come on. Corner a poor corner. No one there to challenge. And that will be the half time whistle. Okay, so. Again, feeling a little bit slow, like we need a bit of a refurb. But we, we're playing better. We're playing better than we did against Porto. That's good. Let's kick off anyway in the second half. Let's go. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Oh, through on goal! A great save from Donnarumma. So happy we don't have to spend like 20 million on a goalkeeper this series. Here we go. Pushing up. A good through ball to Niang. Can't find anybody apart from the man. Oh my goodness, that is coding right there. That stuck to his foot and he just turned around on the Let's spot. Give you some transfer news. It, moving forward with Find some Suso once again. Suso through on goal. Suso! Oh, a good effort! There we have it. Yes, finally. Go up to your fans and tell them who you love. Silva gets the goal. I was actually quite worried. Silva going goalless. But he's a very talented player and I really hope he performs well. Because we could, we could do with him being valuable to the squad. 1-0. We are going through to the round of 16 after the group stages. A few minutes left on the clock. And it looks like we will be going through if we can just hold on to this lead. Two minutes extra time. That's all we've got to hold on to. Two minutes at a time. Oh, well played there. there. Good interception, but a good ball through. Again. And that is the whistle. I do believe we are through now. We've got seven points, so we've got to be through, surely. Let's have a look at the table. Arsenal, Everton, yeah, we'll be through. Fantastic. The semi-finals, we will be playing against the boys, Everton. We're actually going to go up to uh, up to that game now, because I'm wanting to get a signing. And we have a transfer offer here for Calabria, and I do not want to sign him. He's our young player at right back, 75 overall, got a lot of potential. Uh, 20 overall there. And we've got 1.6 million for that. Niang played fantastically again. A great choice uh, keeping him back. Ooh. Vasquez on the right could be possibly a good signing. Um, we do want to get a centre midfielder more than anything, really, though. And jo oh, Joffrey Condogbia. Oh, he's a fucking loan, isn't he? From Inter Milan. Okay, we have... I don't want to sign the same players. That's what I don't want to do. We'll leave it at that for now, guys. Um, we'll go through, see if anything happens. 
Final scout report. So let's see if we want to actually sign anybody then. I think I sort of want to sign Kimbepe as a substitute. Or a possible switch. Let's have a quick look. Are we signing anybody this episode? That is the question. Yes, we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Kimbepe to our squad. He will be signed. And hopefully we'll be able to get him for 20 million. Offer a transfer fee of 20 million. That's what I want him for. Can we have him? Yes, we can. 20 million for an 80 overall centre back. 21 years old. This man is insanely good. I don't understand why he's so cheap and why I wouldn't sell him for a very long time. He's he's a very talented player. Five years, that's happy. Kimbepe, obviously, I don't think he actually played in the uh, in the World Cup for France. Also, we haven't talked about that. Congratulations, France, on the World Cup. Any Frenchman over there, well done for winning the World Cup. Um... It's just a great time, isn't it, for your nation of football, to be honest. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this episode. The first episode of the AC... I nearly said Everton then. Of the AC Milan Karima. This is part one. I hope you enjoyed. We had three games in this episode. We won two of them. We lost one, our first one, unfortunately. And there's a lot of improvements to be done to this team. And we will find it and we will do it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Hit that thumbs up button. That subscribe button down below. And I hope you're just excited for this brand new adventure at AC Milan.